This local sports report is presented by the BFD Building Center, a proud supporter of the KW Siskins. BFD is Waterloo Region's only Rona store, and it's locally owned. At their store in Kitchener, you will find a huge range of products and supplies for any home project, including specialty fences and decks, plus friendly professional staff ready to lend an expert recommendation. You can also order online at rona.ca for in-store pickup or delivery. Drop in to see them in Kitchener on Forwell Road at Victoria Street North or visit bfdrona.com. Sunday afternoon, hockey from the Waterloo Rec Center. The KW Siskins back on home ice hosting the Listowel Cyclones. The Siskins only three points behind the Warriors in first, looking to win out and steal first spot in their final four games of the regular season. The Sykes looking to pull off an upset and find some momentum heading into playoffs. First period ends the Sykes striking first on this play. Tegan Middleton sees a lane and he fires. Alex McGillivray tips it in. It's a great start for the Sykes and they wouldn't let up. Only a minute later and watch Corey Jewett for Listy. He's free on the break and he drives the net. Corey goes backhand forehand, beauty. That's a fantastic goal from Jewett and the Sykes are flying in the first as they take an early two nothing lead. Then it's another chance for the Sykes. Ben Smith fires from deep in the slot. Blake Richard holds the line as the Siskins look to stem the Sykes' momentum. Listy keeps the foot on the gas and here's Chet Hudson cutting into the slot and letting a backhander go on net. Blake Richard tracks it down and turns it away, so we head to the second period, 2-0 Cyclones. In the second period, now it's the Sykes on the power play looking to extend their lead. Ben McRobbie rips it from the point. Jack O'Donnell jams with the rebound, but it's a great pad save from Blake Richard. He stretches wide and the Siskins kill off the penalty. Then it's the Siskins waking up in the second and it starts with Hayden Zimmerman. He's out front and he's got a goal. That's Hayden's 13th and the Siski buzz were just getting started. Less than a minute later and it's the Siskins coming alive on the four check. Noah Clugston sends it on net. Jacob McEachern pokes it home. That's back-to-back -back goals from the Siskins, and we're not at two each. The Sykes back the other way looking to reclaim their lead, and here's Patrick Brown looking to pick a corner. Blake Richard gets a piece of it and sends it wide. The Sykes in the power play now, but look out for the Siskins captain, Jacob McEachern. He steals the puck, and he's got a shorthanded tap in. And just look at the smile on McEachern. That's the go-ahead goal for the Siskins midway through the second. The Sykes looking to get something done on that same power play, but it's more from Richard as he kicks away Chet Hudson's tip. Ensuing faceoff and it's redemption for Chet Hudson. He finds another tip and he finds the equalizer. That's Hudson's 14th and we're all tied up at three apiece. The Siskins still playing with a pep in their step and only moments later, how about the goal factory Blake Weidman? He opens his hips and slams it home. That's Weidman's 34th and the Siskins are back on top. Lay in the second as the Sykes on a four and three power play. Jacob McEachern with a solid block breaks up the chance. Dying seconds of that same power play and how about Blake Richard? He kicks away the first shot and he gloves the rebound. So the Siskins hold the lead heading to the third. In the third now Siskins power play looking to close out the comeback. Jake De Silva sets up Hayden Zimmerman for the goal. That Zimmerman second of the game and the Siskins are up by two. Then it's the Sykes back in Siskins territory pressing for a comeback of their own. Blake Richard gets a piece of it and Jack Kemp bats it out of danger. Final minute of the game now and it's a broken stick for the Sykes. Blake Weidman looks to take advantage and he fires for the empty net and Weidman's got it. That goal makes it 6-3 and that's where this one would end. So it's the Sykes running over the Siskins in the first but it's the Siskins finding their footing and battling back for the win as they take this one by a final score of 6-3 on Sunday afternoon.